Nature is something else. Check out this tiny, tiny little frog on my aloe vera plant. He is small as a thumbnail. Check him out. Hello YouTube. Welcome to the Ambassador of Aquatic Life channel, Hobby Initiative, where we discuss all things aquatic and of course all things hobby. In this video, we're going to take a trip to Wintergreen's Nursery, a place where I frequent to purchase landscaping material and aquatic supplies. Also for you guys that are watching who aren't local, nurseries, hardware stores, places like this can be a great source for materials, especially if you are looking for inspiration and ideas for your aquascape projects. And if I may add, the prices are very reasonable, especially compared to pet store prices. So let's look around as I shop for a few items I need to do some preventive maintenance around my aquarium building. Wow, it is so peaceful out here. I hope I'm not moving too fast, but I am trying to make this video as short as possible. So I won't lose your attention span. I see some nice cactus over there to the left and I see some in the greenhouse right there. I'm gonna pick up for a project I have going on in my aquarium building. Mm, look at these koi fish. This this camera isn't doing any justice. These fish are massive. At least two to three feet. This gives me some more ideas. And it's so peaceful out. Don't forget to check me out on Fish Law One YouTube channel, the parent station to this channel. Okay, aquatic community, I'm back home now, and I figured I'd do a quick video to show you why I made that trip up to the nursery to pick up a few items to sort of deter predators and other little critters or rodents from my aquarium building. Right here is two cactus plants. I have another one over here in the corner. I'm going to use these cactus to deter any type of predator from jumping up in this window and trying to break through my screen to get to my, my fish. I discovered a couple of weeks ago that I had a raccoon on the premises and a fox. I caught them on my... Uh, on our surveillance camera, both. The raccoon was up in this area and also the fox. So I noticed a little gap between the building right here. So I put a cactus right there and I also ordered me online this rodent deterrent. This gadget, it runs by solar, it flashes a light and it gives off a, a sonar sound. You can hear it, you may not be able to hear it through the camera system. So I'm going to plant a cactus just beneath this window. And I'm going to come right over here and plant a cactus beneath this window. Now this, will, this technique will help keep the large predators from trying to jump inside the window. Now I haven't had that problem yet. But... I'm gonna, you know, do what we call preventive maintenance or be proactive. But all these tropical fish in here, you can imagine the odor and the smells that predators like raccoons and fox are uh, um, exposed to when they come in this area. So I wanna make sure I deter them as best as possible. I've also used some powder stuff and, and chemicals that I found at the local hardware store and Home Depot and Lowe's 
And so I figured you have to use a combination of things in order to win this battle. So that's the that's one of the cons of keeping your tropical fish outside or outdoors in a, a store shed or a garage. Now one of the pros is when you decide to sell fish, if you are a person who breed and sell fish, you don't have to have anyone in your personal space. You don't have to have anyone looking around your house because you're going to meet all sorts of people and you don't know, you can't judge a book by its cover. You don't know what their intentions are. That's most important. This skip.